Welcome to the Design It 8 video learning series. In this tutorial we'll be laying out a Fair Isle diamond design all over on a six month old baby sweater and then using File Integrate to have the program remember the placement of this pattern on our pattern pieces. Right now we're in Stitch Designer section of the program. You can see we're in pink and it also says it up here on the top menu bar. It's untitled as of yet it's 40 stitches by 40 rows per pattern repeat. It's hand knit. The tension is 28 stitches and 40 rows per 10 centimeters and it's hand knit. I like to work in centimeters but if you are used to working in inches you can switch this using other units of measurement and saying that you want to work in inches instead. This 28 stitches by 40 rows per 10 centimeters is roughly equivalent to 7 stitches and 10 rows to the inch. So I want to make a pattern repeat that's a lot smaller than this. So I'm going to say File, New from Pattern Setup. I'm going to say Set the Size Manually. I want 6 stitches and 6 rows per pattern repeat. I'm going to save the default palette. OK to continue. Now it's asking me what do I want to do about stitches and I have 28 stitches and 40 rows per 10 centimeters as the default and I'm going to say that's fine. OK to continue. Now I have my little pattern repeat here. We're going to pick up with our left mouse button a red and this is also showing here the mouse button colors and it's red. This blue is right here with the corner in white and the middle square and white is the middle green color. Let's pick up our pencil and let's say here pencil, pencil, pencil and we're not sure exactly what we're going to do about this but we're going to say view repeats three repeats horizontally and three repeats vertically. Okay and now I have my different repeats. Here's my original repeat and, and here's all of my other repeats. Now I can make changes on any of the repeats and it will be reflected on the original repeat. So let's add red. Let's add red here and red here and let's see red here and red here. And now I have my diamond design. And this looks quite good. So I'm going to say file, save as, in Karen and it's a diamond design. Okay to save this. Yes it is. Okay now I don't have any shape in memory here because I don't see it up here on the menu band. I'm in Stitch Designer and Design It 7 you needed to go into Standard Garment Styling section or Original Pattern Drafting section and open up a garment shape into memory and then come back into Stitch Designer. New Design It 8 these Stitch Design and standard shaping designs are available to you in the Stitch Designer section. I can say the open thumbnails, shapes thumbnails, and it brings up a list of garments that we've been working with. This is the six month old baby top. These are all original pieces because they're in a medium blue and, it, and they're also in original pattern drafting because the pattern is gray. Okay to continue. This is my pattern piece. I can use my tab key to move between the pattern pieces but really want to say is view piece just for the front. OK to continue. Let's get rid of these yarn palettes and and because they're a little bit busy. And let's turn our pencil off. So now I have a design that I like and I'm going to say cut this out. This is what it would look like knit up. We're happy with that placement so let's and I'm going to say shapes integrate this time and it remembers that it's the front and it's the diamond uh, Karen diamond at dot stp. It's hand knit and it's knit from the right side. Okay to continue. So now I need to print out these needle printing instructions because I'm going to be knitting with two different yarns for the baby sweater but it'll go quickly as a, as a fair isle design because the design is so small. But we're ready to knit and we were going to say file and print or we can say file and um, integrated knitting for our six month baby top. 
for our front integrated with stitch pattern yes and here's my this time it does not look like a carriage it looks like a knitting needle and it's showing you each color that needs to be designed thank you